In this demonstration video, we'll go through several examples of iGAS link workflow. For the first workflow, on the left window is an iGAS file consisting of downhole multi-element data. Now we will turn on the connection to LeapFrog and bring the iGAS file into view. In iGAS, we will now select lead, zinc, and copper, and we will auto-attribute these data points based on the threshold criteria in this RGB zonation tool. We will apply these attributes to color as well as to size. Changes in the attribute manager, including data visibility, are shown in real time in LeapFrog. What we see in the attribute manager can be carried across to LeapFrog as a locations file. In this import locations dialog, you can import numeric columns from iGAS, including derived columns from geochemical calculations. In this example, we will select zinc for now. The color, shape, and size from Attribute Manager are imported as categories. The Locations tool is a useful way to preserve snapshots of what we were doing in iGAS, which will allow us to view these columns without an active connection to iGAS. So let's turn off the iGAS link. We can still view these imported iGAS columns as categories, and we can use the imported numeric column to create interpolant shells, such as this model of zinc rate. In the second workflow, we are going to bring in an assay interval data from LeapFrog to iGAS. So this is the format that LeapFrog uses to view drill hole data. We can bring this assay table in to iGAS to be interpreted like any other iGAS file. In iGAS, we will now select sodium potassium, and aluminium assay, and we are going to run an automated clustering algorithm on these elements. This is a new feature in iGAS 5.0. We will apply the results from this clustering algorithm as color attribute. You can see that the changes are also visible in LeapFrog in real time. We are going to save these colors as a new column. You can see here in LeapFrog that the link has automatically created a new column from the clustering algorithm. The project dataset contains several factor files for a geological structure, so we can bring this into view. We also have the result from the clustering algorithm. And lastly, we can bring in some interpolant shells from the locations file that we imported. We can see from all this data that cluster 3 is located along this fault structure. And the high-grade zinc shells are located along this fault structure. These are just some basic workflow that you can use to get started with iGAS link and LeapFrog. For more information, Please visit the IGAS website for more details.